Hi Evelyn, and thanks so much for the opportunity to prepare this video. So I'm going to walk through the three things Google looks for when they're ranking a website, the two places you should be ranked to increase your online presence, bring in a large customer base, and start reaching some new goals. So let's jump right into Google, and I'm going to do a keyword search for Sewer Service San Francisco. So a keyword is essentially any term that a potential customer of yours might go searching for in Google. And as you know, everybody comes to Google when they're looking for services now. So considering you guys provide sewer services in San Francisco, you should be ranking at the top for this keyword. And there will be several keywords relevant to your business. You will also have uh, drain cleaning, San Francisco, and any other locations as well. But this is the one that you should be ranking at the top for. So let's walk through what, we're, what we see here. At the top, we have the companies that are running Google Ads. Beneath that is what we call the Google Map Pack. So this is the first place you want your website ranking. And the reason is they'll pull about 40% of the online traffic. So to get your site ranking here, you need to have a Google My Business account, um, and which is where these reviews get posted. And then Google is looking for what we call citations linked to that account. And citations are essentially online directory listings. So they want to see your business name, address, and phone number on several websites, including things like the local, local Yahoo, local Yellow Pages, um, if you're on Yelp, Angie's List, Home Builders, any of those. Um, and what I typically do is run these three through a citation counter that I use, a program, to see how many citations they have and go out and get more for you guys so that you can bump one of these guys out of the top spots. The second place you want your website ranking is just below that in what we call the organic listings. And you want to be ranking at the top on page one because not many people scroll to page two when they're looking for services. I went through a few pages and couldn't find you, so I don't think you guys are ranking at all. Let's take a look at your website and go through what Google looks for when they want, when they rank you organically. And you want to be in both places. You want to be in that map pack, and then you want to be at the top of page one on the organic listings, because that between the two of those, they take the online traffic. So the first thing Google looks for when they're ranking organically is content. They want to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage and several images. So you guys are a little short on content. And what you want to do is you want to bulk that up and you want to include several of these keywords. Let's take a look Ace Plumbing and Rooter. I pulled them because they were ranking at the top organically and we're going to do a little comparison. So they have a decent amount of content on their homepage. They're probably close, if not within that 1500 to 2000 words. So the idea here is if they're coming in at 1500, you want to make sure you come out and beat them with about 17 or 1800. And you want to make sure you're using the keywords that they're using and more. So the second thing that Google looks for when they rank you organically is backlinks. And I use this program called Ahrefs to put websites into to see what they have going on sort of behind the scenes. It looks like in your content, you only have two keywords, which is why you're not being found. Um, and as far as backlinks go, you only have 63 coming from 19 referring domains. So Google looks at where these backlinks are coming from, these referring domains, and they're looking for quality over quantity. So they want to make sure they're coming from trusted sources. And that will drive this UR rating right here, which is your Google Trust rating. So right now your number is at a 6, which is fairly low. So you want to increase your backlinks from quality sources and to drive this number up to help get you ranked. You also want to increase your keywords on your content. So you've got to bulk your content up and include several keywords to drive this DR number. This is your power rating. Right now you're sitting at a zero, which is why you get zero traffic to your website. Let's look at the breakdown for ACE. So you see they have over 2,000 backlinks coming from 265 referring domains. The great thing about this program is I can click here on this 265 and see where they're getting their backlinks and go and obtain the same ones for you. Um, again, we would just pick out the quality ones and then add more to it. And you can see just this is a super beatable number, but even so, it look at how greatly improved their trust rating is with Google. And here you can see that they have 
nearly 460 organic keywords within their content. That alone is helping them get found, which is why their power rating right here is up to a 19. And because they have so many keywords and backlinks and which is essentially what we refer to as SEO or search engine optimization for their website, they're getting 428 potential customers to their website every month. Last month they had, it looks like closer to 450. So you can see how SEO can pay for itself if it's if you're doing it in the proper way. Uh, again, with the keywords, I can click on this number, see what keywords they're using and add that to your content on your website. So I hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you. And obviously you can take this video and implement these methods yourself, but this is something I do. So if you have any questions or if you'd like to strategize on getting your website ranking and bringing in some customers and potential revenue, please feel free to reach out. I would love some feedback on the video if you have just a minute. I hope you have a great weekend.